Hello everybody, welcome to finally Moon vs. Lin, and this is a very highly anticipated matchup in, in WCG Korean Region Qualifier, uh, round of 4, these two met in round of 4, so there are 4 players players left um, in this tournament, and this is Lin, the, one of the best orc players in, on the planet, and uh, he he's, has a um, winning streak in this tournament, and uh, 6 and 0 as you can see on the screen. He hasn't lost a game, even even though he lost. I think he when he played against Remind, he lost his Blade Master early, and he still found a way to come back. Uh, this guy is sick. He's gonna be the favorite, one of the favorites to win WCG 2009. I have to say. Um, uh, and Moon, of course, Moon is playing uh, spectacularly. He has won a lot of games. He only lost one game versus. Uh, I can't remember. It's a, it's an old player. He. Uh, and that the loss he recorded that that his record is really close. He it came down to the wire and it was a toss up and the the orc got in a, some um, lucky lucky critical strike and that's how he um, that's how the orc won uh, be, being Moon. But anyway, and it looks like this is gonna be Asian Isles. Moon is gonna be the blue not elf player spawning at the uh, eleven o'clock, and uh, of course Lin is gonna be the red orc player spawning at uh, five o'clock on Asian Isles. This map I feel like is the uh, uh, very uh, orc and undead favored because uh, the the your expo is really far away from your main, and of course you um, the, the your expo has a has a has a um, has a choke that leads to the middle middle of a map which doesn't go which has no nowhere near against your uh, uh, nowhere near your main. So that choke is really hard to um, really hard to block. And unless you have a wisp or a shade there to spot for that um, to spot for that choke, that choke is can be a can be work against you um, can be working against you in any any kind of late game uh, strategy. And anyway, and it looks like Lin's gonna have a standard orc build. And it looks like Moon's going to have a demon hunter. So we're gonna see maybe thoughts and the druid of druid of the talon from Moon here. Um. I, I had to say I really want to see these two square off at the finals of WGG 2009 Korean Region Qualifier. I wonder who's uh, who's playing on the other side of the best of four. Um, I'm guessing who is uh, is playing. <laughs> SK who? He's he's gonna be playing one one of the as one of the contenders. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, anyway. Uh, Asian War Creepy. Um, let's see if Lang um, start decide to creep first or just go straight to that spot because uh, it's very common to a nine elf to Asian War Creep that spot. It looks like Moon's gonna have his building next to the trees instead of making a wall, so he's gonna he's going to protect his whips that way. There's a couple ways you can protect whips as a nine elf versus Blade Master. You can have you can have your buildings um, right next to trees and have your wisp hop on the trees behind the buildings. Right after the building is construct constructed, say an uh, altar or moon wells or even hunters halls, so your uh, so your wisp won't be reached by the melee units like blade master or uh, grunts. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, and there's an another way to do it is to have a wall using your uh, tree of life and uh, altar moon well to create a wall in your uh, in, in your main, main. So your they're showing the wisps. On the trees. Um, anyway, to create a wall, just like human and undead uh, players do, to protect anything, protect uh, protect everything from from the play master. Uh, looks like a standard, very standard orc start. Um, healing cells on blade master. Blade master. I, I assume picked uh, run walk as the first ability, just in case demon hunter come over and jack you. You can run walk. And looks like Moon is going to ground creep this. Uh, Orange camp here is uh, really risky, um, but uh, I expected that's why it's risky. And I think Moon sneaked out a Shadow Priest. He's gonna do some damage against that dragon. Meanwhile, the Demon Hunter is gonna do everything himself on the ground. And the, looks like wow, Lin's gonna creep up the nine o'clock expansion of Moon's. I have no idea why he does that. Uh, kind of curious. Uh, looks like a, a, tro a Forest Troll Berserker is gonna be purchased by Moon. Moon's gonna have a Moon's gonna have a lot of a, a range units versus Zork. I have no idea what Moon's planning on, on doing. Normally, when when this happens, he normally gets a couple of dryads first. I'm sorry, not dryads, the huntresses. 
but he hasn't has, has gotten a punch of saw yet. Uh, let's see the item is going to be a mask of a uh, Sobi mask. That's going to be awesome on, on the later either a Beastmaster or the Tinker. That Sobi mask is going to pay off dividendly. And it looks like the uh, Demon Hunter is going to pick up dust and maybe boost. Demon Hunter sold the Sobi mask. That's very curious. So the Demon Hunter is going to pick up a Staff of Teleportation, boost, and uh, sh um, dust. I would have kept that Sobi mask around and put it on my, uh, uh, put it on my, uh, what was his name, uh, um, Beastmaster. And I don't know the tier two tech from the progress tier two tech for Moon. I'm I'm assuming it's fifty percent already, because uh, I think he he started tier two tech right after the first archer, um, right during during when he was uh, um, when he was actually war creeping. And it looks like. Um, and then he's going to get a potion of uh, potion of uh, tone of strength, and uh, I didn't catch that playmaster's item. <clears throat> and um, Moon's going to head off, hop over to the back of the shop. And Lin needs to one walk. Oh, Moon Lin gets a mana burn. Uh, level three, level two mana burn. That's it. I hurt the playmaster a lot. I neutralize the playmaster a lot. Looks like a, a clone. Um, what do you call it? A mirror image or, or clone image you're going to use by the. Uh, Used by the Blade Master, that that uh, fake Blade Master is going to go into Moon, Moon's base, and let's see if Moon wasting mana burn on him. Um, no, Moon's going to maybe Moon's not abolishing magic, and so uh, uh, nice anticipation from Moon. Moon maybe saw the footprints from left by behind by the Blade Master and then dusted. Um, but Demon Hunter is very low, so Demon Hunter needs to back away. Looks like the Torn Chieftain, of course, Spare Lounge, and uh, and uh, Beast Jury can go down from Lin, so it's gonna be a standard counter against Dots. Um, then two extra wins are gonna be go up for uh, they're gonna go up for uh, Moon. They're still showing the Wisps. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a standard strategy, really, um, if you think about it. A standard strategy to uh, versus Blade Master. Um, I don't know why Koreans keep showing it. Maybe uh, there are a lot of noobs in Warcraft in Korea. <laughs> Um, because the everybody plays StarCraft. <laughs> anyway, then um, looks like there's nothing uh, really out of ordinary. Uh, I'm I'm a, I'm I'm a, a semi or semi surprised that Lin hasn't gone over to Moon Moon's base and canceled those Asian wins. Um, I would think that yeah, that's one of the well, that's what I would do you know, on a small map like this. I would go over with my all my grunts, hop over with all my grunts. Oh, man, nice mana burn, very nice anticipated by Moon. Moon gets some mana burn off on the turn chieftain before the big battle. That's really crucial on the on a dodge spell like this. I decided the blade master is gonna try to get this uh, demon hunter out of here. Demon hunter is gonna mana burn him and then get back away. <coughs> and turn chieftain is gonna hit level two after this camp. Um, more so like it. no, oh, just smidge off level two. That's I'll be okay. Um, turn chieftain got an uh, aura first, so that's I'll be fine. And see those Asian winds that are building in the middle of uh, open. So uh, I would have uh, get some get on for my grants go over to can try to cancel one of them. But uh, and I guess Len has some else playing playing. His his game plan got to be better than mine. <laughs> he he practices twelve hours a day. He got to be he got to have something go going on for him. Um, I was, I didn't catch an item on the Torn Chieftain. Um, looks like the Beastmaster carried a mana mana stone and. Uh, Still at level one though, um, Beastmaster can't get some damage, and some dots in the rendezvous with Moon's main army. Blade Master gonna spot everything. Let's see what Blade Master start working on the. Oh, Blade Master! I don't think Blade Master item jacked any anybody. Looks like he's gonna work on the Shadow Priest, and uh, the Shadow Priest is gonna be safe. Uh, very nicely done. For, uh, take a. Uh, do the uh, fairy uh, mana flare on the uh, a fairy fire on the blade master. So blade master has to be dispelled. I haven't seen a f I haven't seen a uh, I haven't seen any uh, spirit walker came out for Lin. I don't know why. Well, it's gotta be on one out because the the, the uh, level uh, uh, level one training is being researched. There's one to spirit walker and uh, there's a lot of dots from Moon. Oh my god. And at this point of game, I have to say, <laughs> because only one Spirit Walker is out for Lin, and uh, the Moon has a lot of freaking dots out already. Um, looks like the Moon has an upper hand on this map, uh, on, this ma on this match already. I think Torn Chieftain is carrying a, a, a Talisman Invasion, that's why the creeps are missing him. 
uh, moon's uh, land is going to 